and we back. And today is a very, very special occasion because I brought the wheel with me. Yes, I don't know if this is the last time the wheel comes out and he made 2K20, but you know what? It's a big occasion whenever it does come out. Y'all remember the name Dwayne Neal? Dwayne Neal is a huge portion of this channel, man. If you do not know who he is, you sleep. You should go back and watch those videos. But I have $15 to basically create the perfect NBA player. I gave him LeBron James playmaking, Kevin Durant shooting, some rebounding of like Dennis Rodman. I don't know. He turned out to be the greatest player of all time. He was averaging like 50. He won multiple MVPs, multiple finals MVPs. Now, I felt like trying to create another Dwayne Neal. Another Dwayne Neal with a little bit of a twist because the wheel is here. Y'all know throughout the course of this channel, the wheel ain't always on your side you know we were doing that 15 dollars challenge we all got to choose from the greatest of all time we got to choose between steph curry and kevin Durant shooting no matter what you pick it's a w well the wheel is not always a w because once we do shooting there is a chance that we land on like ben simmons jump shooting how am i gonna create the greatest player of all time if i land on ben simmons jump shooting and it's all up to the wheel so shout out to the wheel, man. Be sure to leave a like on the video because that gives us ultra luck, man. As long as you leave leaving likes, there's no way this wheel can screw us over. Okay, that's not really true. But regardless, let me introduce you to the different topics associated with the wheel. Now we're going to take a quick break from the video to talk about today's sponsor, which is Raycon. Now, Raycon is a company that I've worked with before because I really do love their earbuds. They sound just as amazing as any other top audio brand you know at a way better price. Their everyday E25 earbuds are their best model yet. They give you six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a compact design that gives you a noise isolating fit. Now, personally, I've been using the Raycon earbuds a lot on my workout. No matter how high I jump, no matter how fast I run, the earbuds fit perfectly in my ear and I can enjoy my workout. These earbuds are stylish and discreet with no dangly wires or stems, and they're also great for video chats. And if you don't believe me, there are so many celebrity endorsements like Snoop Dogg, Brandy, J.R. Smith, Mike Tyson, the list goes on and on. These are all people obsessed with Raycon. And you know I got a deal for you. So if you go to buyraycon.com slash KOT4Q, you get 15% off your offer. That is buyraycon.com slash KOT4Q. Again, thank you for Raycon for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the action. Okay, so we basically have a wheel for all the major categories in the NBA. We have our positions. We have our height. We have inside scoring, shooting, playmaking, rebounding, defense, athleticism. Those are the eight major categories of the NBA player. So today, thanks to the wheel, we get to decide what it is, what it ain't. Now, the first two wheels, if you ask me, are the most important wheels. That is the position wheel and then the height wheel. Because the height wheel starts off with the short kings at 5'9". Then it goes to 6'1", 6'3", 6'5", 6'7", 6'9", 6'11", and 7 foot. And you know what? I'm adding 7'3". I'm adding 7'3". Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Now, the reason why this is so, so important. It's because there's a world where in the first wheel, we get center. And then the second wheel, we get 5'9". We don't want that to happen in today's video. If I'm going to get 5'9", I need him to be a guard. That's the, at the end of the day. So it should be a lot of fun. So let's go back and do the first spin, which is the position. And here we are. Let's just get right into it. Just jump into it. Click it a bunch of times. And we sit back and we wait. We wait to see what position. Oh, we're going to get... A small forward. Now, small forward position, we can get, you know, 6'5 and above. I'm happy with I'm okay with a 6'5 small forward as long as the other attributes and stuff is a W. Small forward, I think Dwayne Neal is a power forward slash small forward. Depending on what this guy's height is, he might be a small forward slash shooting guard or a small forward slash power forward. And I just realized that because of the color of my Fred Van Vliet shirt, it was kind of glitching out. So we went on with the classic Bulls. Yo, your boy has caught a lot of W's on Twitter lately. Follow me on Twitter. You know what I'm talking about. Shout out to the Bulls, man. We about to make some legendary stuff happen. Okay. Now with our small forward, as much as I would like for him to be a short king I, at this point, we need 6'5 and above, okay? 6'5 and above. If we end up getting like a 7'3", small 4, GG's demigod glitch, it's unstoppable. Let's go. The spin is on, and it looks like we are actually going to make a 7'3", small forward, bow, bow, type beat, times infinity. 7'3", small forward is a W. Now the first official attribute wheel is our inside scoring. So let me introduce you to our candidates. We can land on Shaquille O'Neal. We already 7-3, so this is a W. Steve Kerr, 
Frank Milikina. These are two of the lowest inside scoring players in 2K. That's why I put them again. Everything ain't gonna be roses around here. You may end up on something that's trash. Then we have Brian Scalabrini, who's like a middle of the pack when it comes to his inside game. Then we got D Rose, LeBron James, Vince Carter, Blake Griffin, Giannis, and Victor Oladipo is slightly above average as far as 2K goes. So I got a little bit of everything. I got bad, I got average, and I got a little above average, and I got great. We're shooting for great. One spin and one spin only. Let's get it. And the player we are landing on is Blake Griffin's athleticism. Now, this is not current day Blake Griffin after a thousand knee surgeries. We talk about prime Blake Griffin, Live City finishing Blake Griffin, Ricky Eddie Blake Griffin, third and MVP voting Blake Griffin. Beautiful. 7 3 guy with Blake Griffin inside scoring is a W. Now, just because we have his inside score doesn't mean we're going to end up with his athleticism. We may end up with terrible athleticism with his type of scoring on the inside. And if that's the case, I don't know how it's going to work. But it is what it is. And I guess I did a terrible job kind of explaining the way this works. So we just got Blake Griffin's inside scoring. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at Blake Griffin's stats in 2K, write those down, copying them. And then when I create my player, we're giving him those Blake Griffin stats at your uh, stats attributes slash tendency slash badges so all of the finishing inside badges that blake griffin has our fictional player is going to have as well now the next one is the shooting and i just realized stephen curry's name is spelled completely wrong oh my god that's embarrassing stephen curry the greatest shooter of all time larry burr ray allen clay thompson those are our top ones right then we have sean livingston y'all know sean livingston did not have a three-point shot whatsoever. We do have Ben Simmons in there. Then we get to like Scottie Pippen, Dwayne Wade, Lonzo Ball, and Jimmy Butler. All, you know, pretty mid. So like this is a situation where we don't end up in like the top four. It's a GG. I mean, I'm okay with Scottie. I would be okay with Dwayne Wade. And I also be okay with Jimmy. The rest of the guys I do not want at all. Let me, let me save this so we get Stephen Curry's name right. So here we go. No elves. No else. I was really contemplating, like, should I give myself one respin? Nope. If we land on Ben Simmons, we land on Ben Simmons. Here we go. Fingers crossed. And we're going to land on Ray Allen. Yes, the all-time leading three-point scorer in the NBA history right now in a couple years. It's not going to be the same. But we have a 7-3 small forward with Blake Griffin's inside scoring and Ray Allen's three-point shot. Oh, my God. Who is stopping him? Who is stopping him? The next wheel we have is our defense wheel. We have the one and only Gary Payton, the glove, the only point guard in NBA history to win a defensive player of the year. We have Michael Jordan, another one of the few guards in the NBA history to win defensive player of the year. We have Giannis, who might win defensive player of the year this year. Rudy Gobert, who just a two-time defensive player of the year. Then we have like Prime LeBron, who's never won a defensive player of the year, but Prime LeBron really got down with the nitty gritty and was clamping things up. Hakeem Olajuwon, also a great defender. And then we get to Luke Kennard who is literally the worst defending guy in the NBA, according to 2K. I keep saying that, according to 2K. Then we have Spud Webb, who is the shortest of short kings, basically. You know his perimeter defense ain't nothing. We have Joe Ingles, and you know what? I'm adding another short king I, while I'm out here. Isaiah Thomas. Oh, Isaiah Thomas. Make it even harder for us. It's a good chance we land on something great, but it's also a chance that we land on something not good. And here we go. We are going to have the defense of... I did that to myself. I did that to myself. So if we're having, oh my God. If we're having Isaiah Thomas's defense, our dude is not gonna be a 99 overall. It's impossible. He's gonna be all offense, no defense now. Why did I just add him? If I didn't add him, I guess we would have ended up on Joe Ingles, who's a good defender. Ah, that's an L, y'all. That's an L. First L of the video. It was going to happen eventually. I would rather it happen here than like my outside shooting. You know why? Because the outside shooting going to show up on the box score. And his bad defense ain't going to show up as much. The next one we have is the playmaking tier. We have Magic Johnson, Jason Kidd, Steve Nash, John Stockton, LeBron, Luka Doncic. Those are our elite of the elite. And then we have like Joe Harris who has a very bad playmaker rating in 2K. We have Jamal Murray who's an average playmaker in 2K's. Um, stand the same thing with Jason Tatum, and then we get another really good one. Hmm, I think I add another bad one. Who is the worst playmaker I can think of off the top of my head? Now, instead of going off the top of my head, I decided to just get real statistical with it. 
Um, so these are the guys. No free advertising around here. These are the guys with the highest assist percentage and estimate of the percentage of the teammates' field goals and player assists while he's on the floor. So when LeBron is on the floor, he's assisting about half of the. You get it. We're going to filter and go to the lowest. And the first guard we see is the one we're selecting. The first guard is Ben McLemore of the Houston Rockets. A 5.2% is the lowest amongst guards. Then we have like Gary Trent. We have Justin Holiday, Terrence Ross, Wesley Matthews, Danny Green. Where's the point? I want to see who is the first point guard here. First, nope, like literally no point guards. Because you have the ball in your hand so much. Of course, your, your percentage is going to look pretty decent. It's Patrick Beverly. Patrick Beverly the, <laughs> is the lowest guy here. Then you got like Darius Garland. But the guy we are going with is Ben McLemore. Okay, let's hope we don't land on that. So spinning it, spinning it, spinning it. This is actually super important to me. Playmaking wise, we are getting Luka. We are getting Luka. No, no Ben McLemore. No Joe Harris's. But instead, we get Luka. W. Next, we get to the rebounding. We start off with another short king. I, well, I think we already talked about him earlier. Spud Webb. You know his rebound is not good. He's four foot three. He's not getting any NBA rebounds. Then we have Dennis Rodman, the greatest rebounder of all time. Andre Drummond, the top rebounder of all time. Shaq, a great rebounder. Isaiah Thomas, the short king Isaiah Thomas. Not the bad boy Piston Isaiah Thomas. J.J. Redick, uh, Kevin Garnett, Nemanja Bielitsa is the most average rebounder of all time, according to 2K. Uh, Kyle Anderson and Bam Adebayo. So good options, bad options. And we're 7-3. We're 7-3. So even if we get Spud well, we better average 10 rebounds. I don't care. Just by being big. But let's see what we end up getting. The rebound numbers will be from Shaq. It was this close to being Isaiah Thomas again. But instead, we have Shaquille O'Neal's rebounding. We, may, we might as well just be a center at this point. But we also got Ray Allen's jump shot. It's just W's across the board so far. And this is going to be our last one. And this is our athleticism one. Uh, the players we have, let me mute that, LeBron James, Derrick Rose, Russell Westbrook, Zion, Allen Iverson, Yao Ming, J.J. Barea, Luka Doncic, John Wall. Pretty good options, some bad options, some not so great options in there. You know, funny that Yao Ming is here considering how tall we're going to be. But we're also a guard, or a, a small four, but we're, we're a playmaker. So I need some good athleticism. You know, like, Allen Iverson wasn't dunking on people, but his athleticism is pretty nice. Because you got to think about athleticism accounts for speed, quickness, all of that stuff. It's not just how high you can jump. So, some good options, some bad options. And we are getting a good option, hopefully. <sighs> J.J. Barea? J.J. Barea? So, how are we going to have Blake Griffin's inside scorn with J.J. Barea's vertical? How? How? I don't know. I don't know. But that is our player. That is our player. Let's let's go through one quick time. So we have a 7-3 small four with Blake Griffin's inside scoring, Ray Allen's jump shooting, Isaiah Thomas's defense, Luka Doncic's playmaking ability, Shaq's rebounding, and JJ Barea's athleticism. W L? You let me know in the comment section. It's gonna take me a little while to create this player, so I'll be right back. I forgot a super, super important part of this video. That is the name. What are we going to name him? We had Dwayne Neal, which is dope. We had Clyde Waters, which was dope. I, I briefly just forgot that man's name. So what do we name this guy? We got the random name generator. I'm going to hit this button. And out of the 10 names they give me, whichever one I really like the most is the one I'm going to pick. I decided to put it on average because common names we have in people like Randy Smith. I don't know Randy Smith. I need something that's at least a little bit different. Or we can go, okay, I'm going to click rare and see what's up. What type of names are rare? Russ Sire, Hunter Fort, no, 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 no. Give me average, give me average. Okay, and we have Abraham Bennett, Greg Myers, Rufus Bishop. Rufus? Rufus? Like the naked mole, right? Rufus might be the mo move. Okay, Matt Arison, Aubrey Griffin, Luke Rogers, Jan Underwood, Leland Graham, William Sins, Sims, Elias Ward, it's got to be Rufus Bishop. It, it got to be Rufus Bishop. It has to be Rufus Bishop. Rufus is like a super old name. I'm, I'm keeping this one. Our guy's name is Rufus, Ruf, Rufus Bishop. And just like that, Rufus Bishop is created. 19 years old out of, what else, the Illinois, Chicago, 7'3", 250. I don't understand how weight works. So I just put him 250 because I thought that might be cool. Let's compare that. Jordan was 195. LeBron is 250. Oh, my God. Okay, so he's got the weight of LeBron James, but he also is like 
How many inches is that? Six? Eight inches taller? Big W's. Big W's. So, in my process of going through all of this, one thing I realized is that, like, yo, 2K bad system is hella broken. It is really broken. The man Shaquille O'Neal has 99 rebounding. 99, literally. But he don't got rebound chaser. What the? What, the, what sense does that make? But anyway, this is our boy Rufus. Um, and now it's time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add him to free agency pool. And we're going to do a fantasy draft. See where he gets drafted. And see if he can lead his team to a championship. But here are all our attributes. Right here we're looking at Blake Griffin. And then we start to look at Ray Allen. Uh, this is more Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin is not as great in 2K as I, I thought. I think he's like a 90 overall. At the, that's the best version of him. Lob City Blake Griffin. So, you know. Um, shot IQ. That's, of course, Ray Allen. Very rarely took bad shots. And then we get to the Luka Doncic. Uh, speed with ball is actually J.J. Barea. J.J. Barea athletics weren't that bad. You know what I'm saying? His vertical is like a 75. I'm like, yo, J.J. Barea actually is going to have Rufus not looking terrible. A 7'3 guy with a 75 overall vertical is a W. Um, good hands, good passing vision, and then we get to the Isaiah Thomas stuff. And this is where we tank it a little bit. 25 offensive interior, a uh, defensive interior, 47 defense on the perimeter, steals non-existent, block non-existent, and then we get to Shaq's rebound. And look at that. But no rebound chaser. No rebound chaser. Lateral quickness. This is Isaiah Thomas. Still a little less than average, but not terrible. Then we get to the IQ on defense is bad. Pass perception, apparently Isaiah Thomas is pretty good at getting the passing lanes. But defensive consistency is 30, and that's terrible. And then we get back to J.J. Barea. 87 speed for a guy that's 7'3". Come on, bro. Unstoppable. Uh, not strong, though. Uh, not strong. He is 7'3", 250, but he can't push anybody in the post. That's an L. Vertical, I mentioned earlier. And then Hustle. I think that's also J.J. Barea, technically. Um, and here we go. Here we go. And then we get to the badges. Oh, I also did Tennessee's. We're not going through that. But I went through Tennessee's for everybody. It takes a long time to do these. So, again, if you want to drop a like, I'd rather appreciate it. Here's our finisher. Of course, we're talking about Blake Griffin. So, he's got Lobster and he finished Hall of Fame. He's got uh, Showtime Hall of Fame, Drop Stepper, five finishing badges, 15 shooting. And we talk about all of the best shooting badges because it is Ray Allen. Lucas playmaking, looking great. And then defense technically is Shaq's rebounding things without rebound chaser. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy him into free agency. And just like that, well, we got it. He is the best free agent out there. Save our roster. And oh, my God. Do you see how many saved rosters I have here? I need to clean this out. Like we got Neil that you know who that is. That's Dwayne Neil. We got for my stream. It, it's bad. Anywho. This is not um, a rebuild or a career sim. If you want to see a career sim, just, just kill a like button. Then I know to come back with a career sim. All right. So um, it's just depending on who gets the first overall pick. What team where our boy gets. I mean, he may not even be first. Luca is still first. Luca is still first. Then Giannis. Then James Harden. Then Anthony Davis. Oh, Rufus is getting disrespected. Rufus is really out here getting disrespected. And there he goes. Seventh overall to the OKC Thunder. Rufus, come on, dog. He goes seventh. Would you rather have a 34-year-old LeBron or a 19-year-old Rufus Bishop? I keep I keep fumbling his name, by the way. Rufus, 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 Rufus. There we go. Rufus, Rufus. Again, like the naked mole rat. Okay, so my job is to sit back, relax. I got to take control of the team, though. And I don't want any control of it. If they want to make a trade, if they want to trade Rufus, by all means, trade him away. But you are giving up the future of your franchise because Rufus is going to do something that some of these people in OKC weren't able to do. Hopefully. Maybe he doesn't. Let's see what his team is looking like. It's him and John Wall. And he's got Blake Griffin on his roster. Yo, he's like a real mentor to him. Dennis Schroeder still in OKC. RJ, TJ Leaf, Robert Williams, Bruno Fernando, Chuck Diallo, Trevor Ariza, Alice Caruso, just, uh, Josh Jackson. Kadeem Allen, Hamid Diallo. That is our roster. That is our roster. And the starting lineup is looking like this. Not a bad starting lineup. There's there's a couple holes here, and that's Robert Williams being our starting center, really. Uh, but overall, the team actually is not that good. Now, the more I look at it, the more I look like it's not that good. But you do have Rufus. And Rufus is a bucket. First game of the season is a win. And Rufus... What? That's, that's me. Oh, he fouled out. Oh, that Isaiah Thomas defense got this boy in foul trouble. Because, yeah, you got Isaiah Thomas foul tendency too. That's a bad stat line. Okay, game number two. It's a loss. 24-17-6. and six. 
That's mid. Come on, bro. Dwayne Neal's average is basically 50. All right, game three. And y'all are actually losing games. I mean, oh, man. 21, 15 and a half, six assists. I'm, I'm going to, let's go a month into things. The team is actually not very nice. If they, what if they don't make the playoffs? That Now, that will be something. That will be something. And here they are on the road to not making it to making the playoffs be like a seventh, eighth seed. All right, let's let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at what we got. We have him averaging 24 and a half, 14 and a half rebounds and seven assists. No steals, no blocks, because again, Isaiah Thomas, but he ain't missed a free throw because he's got Ray Allen's free throw. 50, 40, 100 club. But overall, Kind of disappointing so far. Kind of disappointing so far. He's got two triple doubles in, in the 18 games. He's definitely pretty much getting a, a double double in every game. But two triple doubles is dub is a W. Um, Blake Griffin, yo, they may need to make some trades, but that, I can't do it for him. I can't do it for him. I cannot do it for him. And nobody has made any trades yet. Okay. With those type of numbers, he should be an all star, but you never really know. So I'm going to keep it moving and simulate to that point of the season. But so far, these boys are mid. Roof, wait, what type of deal does Rufus have? He's a two two year deal, two year deal, and it's not like a rookie deal either. That boy came into the league with a max contract somehow. I don't know how he did it. He came into the league with a max contract somehow. But the way this team is going, shoo! Once this contract is over, he may have to skedaddle. He may dip because boy, oh boy, uh, the team is not good. His oh, wait, wait. He's got his 38, John Wall's 38, Blake Griffin's 34. Oh, my God. There's no way this team gets better. There's no way to bring in free agents to this team. <laughs> this is who they are unless they unless they make a trade. And maybe they will, maybe they won't. Don't really know. Don't really know. But as of this point in time, they are not looking spectacular. It's actually my sim speed ain't looking spectacular either. Maybe that's because I got these other tabs up. Because, you know, we got NBA all day now. You know what I'm saying? As I'm recording this video, Patience Heat is going on, and it's a close one. So, as we see, man, if you see me looking over like this, that means I'm watching the game. Anywho, season or first half of the season is pretty much wrapped, and the team is only one game out of the playoffs with their record. So, I mean, it could be worse. Um, Willie Cauley Stein is on the team now, so they did make at least one trade. Melo's on the team. Marquise Chris is on the team. So, they made a few trades. Maybe they made at least two trades. Let's see what those trades were. Uh, we go over to, of course, our team, and they made three trades. So Carmelo for Alex Caruso on the second, Marquise Chris for TJ Leaf, and then Robert Williams in the lottery protected for Willie Cauley Stein. None of those trades even do anything at all. But our boy Rufus is putting up the numbers of 24 points per game, 13 rebounds, and seven assists. Again, very, very good numbers. But it ain't like, you understand me? It ain't like killing me. It ain't jumping off the page type thing. He's fifth in MVP vote, and that's cool. He still ain't better than Luka. And maybe that's why Luka was still taking first overall. And maybe that's why James Harden and Giannis were still drafted above him. Shoot, even Ben Simmons is having a better statistical season. And uh, Ben Simmons can't shoot, you know? <laughs> Rookie of the year, he's got... Zion is not that... No, Zion's not close. When you take into consideration the rebound and the assistant numbers, Zion's not close. Sixth man of the year, Dennis Schroeder might get that for us. Defense player of the year, he, you know he's not going to be in a conversation. Most improved won't be in conversations. And because of that, he's 100% going to be an all-star. And he's on teams James Harden. Or LeBron. They say Team James. James Harden. Okay, Team James Harden. And then Team Luka. All right. Tough scene. Tough scene. We're going to keep it going. Maybe they don't make the playoffs. And if they, if they don't make the playoffs, then that is a... Wait. They got Anthony Davis on the target list. And they got RJ, Blake, Trevor Reza, and Kadeem Allen all on the trading block. You drafted those players, and now you want to put them on the trading block? Well, it's too late now because the trade deadline is over with. So they want Anthony Davis, but that is a pipe dream considering all the money they have wrapped up into the team. Luka, MVP. Y'all know my boy Roof is going to come out here and put that up. 50-40-90 club and, like, not even close. Like, he destroyed that. And those are the awards. They were 41-41. and 41. All NBA second team, that's a W. That's over LeBron. LeBron and KD and Paul George are on the third team. He made it on the second team. But the real question is, did they make the playoffs? They are the sixth seed at 41 and 41, y'all. I know my my head is, is in the way, but you get me. They're the sixth seed at 41 and 41. Going against the Lakers in the first round. And the Lakers have Jimmy Butler guarding Rufus. 
Is Rufus going to struggle because Jimmy Butler's on? Maybe. They lose game one. And Jimmy Butler wasn't that much of a factor defensively because Rufus put up really good numbers. Five offensive rebounds. They win game two. And Rufus didn't have a great game, but team-wise, they blew him out. They blew him out. Very team-oriented win. That's what you like to see, I guess. If you ain't going to have my boy Rufus out here dropping 60 pieces. And then they lose another game. Triple-double for Rufus. But he can't guard Jimmy Butler because he is Isaiah Thomas defensively. 2-2 two -two series. It's getting there, y'all. It's getting there. 3-2 them. Sim casting, baby. And I hope it's a situation where we get to jump in. We will watch Rufus play at least a little bit in some game. It's a five-point game. It's a three-point game with three minutes left. We Four-point game. I'm jumping in. I'm jumping in. It's winner go home for the OKC Thunder. All right. Look how massive he is on the court. I forgot that this man was 7-3. Oh, my. And he's picking up Jimmy Butler. Actually, he's not. Because he's got Isaiah Thomas's defense. We just watched that happen live, y'all. Live. How bad of a defender that man is. Jimmy Butler saw somebody that was 7'3 and was not afraid to go right at him because it didn't matter. It didn't matter whatsoever. Oh, my God. All right. Jimmy Butler is a player of the game, too. Him having Isaiah Thomas' defense is the downfall of this player at the end of the day. It doesn't matter how many points you, you score. And he's an initiator on offense. Oh, check out the kicks. Check out the kicks. He signed to... Nope. He signed a Reebok, man. He signed a Reebok. You know why? Because these are some of my favorite sh shoe... Come on. Come on. What do you... One second. These are some of my favorite shoe models of all time. Um, and I know you younger dudes don't understand that they're bulky. They're old. They're from the 2000s. But... I got the low top version of those shoes right here. I got the lows, baby. And best believe next time I'm able to pull up to a gym, I'm rocking these even though they're heavy as ever. The technology and, and like sports shoes have, have grown so much since the early 2000s. Either way, um, he's on his Josh Richardson when it comes to his kick game. All right, pick a roll. Oh, he got Lou Williams on him. That's a that's a bucket. Lou Williams, what is you going to do, Lou? Come on, man. On the offensive side of the ball, I feel great with having Rufus with the ball in his hands. But once we get to that defense, it's going to be a, a problem. And he's Ray Allen at the free throw line, so that's a that's a W. That's a W. It's only a three-point game, y'all. Couple stops. Uh, we might as well run a zone with this lineup. Sheesh. We are going to struggle stopping the ball from being put in that hoop. But there's a rebound from Dennis Schroeder. Outlet it to number 13. Yeah, he's got my number two. In and out, going right at the... He's just... My heart. I did not expect that. He's just too tall. He's too big. One point game. One point game. Rufus is doing his thing offensively. Don't let Jimmy Butler touch the ball, basically. Oh, Lou Williams. That's too easy. Come on, man. Lou Williams get that easy old bucket. I like that he is like the point guard, too. That's, that makes me very happy. Oh, in and out dribble. Jimmy Butler rips him. Oh, Jimmy Butler showing the great defense. And Lou Williams sort of pull up. He sold. And Rufus gets the board. Come on, man. Oh, you're trusting your teammates? RJ, full head of steam. That's a dunk. Layup and one. RJ with the potential to tie the game with one minute to go. That's two rookies. Two. Maybe that's why they, they're a low seed. They got two very young players in their roster right now. These two dudes are the dynamic duo of the future. RJ Barrett. And he can't hit free throws. Oh, my God. I forgot he can't hit free throws. All right, RJ. I mean, that's not even art. The man didn't even get a hand up. You are 7 3. Lou Williams is 5 4, and you didn't even get a hand up to contest the shot. Oh, okay. All right. All right. RJ's missed free throw may come back and bite us. Let's see. Bishop, pull up midi. It's just easy. He won't miss. <laughs> he won't miss. Now, if he's playing like this, how does he only average 20 points per game? He scored every single time, basically, other than the RJ, of course. Uh, he scored pretty much every single time. You're trying to tell me he only averages 20? Aaron Baines. Oh, good defense team. Lou Williams for three, and he greened it. Oh, the potential dagger. The potential Aaron Baines composed enough to kick it out to the shooters. We need a quick bucket right here, Bishop. Rufus for three. That's probably game. Yep, foul game. Oh, man. The man got Ray Allen jump shot. He missing threes. I mean, this game, he wasn't even the leader scored. He only has 17. And we watched him score like eight. That's an L, bro. That's an L. 
Okay, well, here we go. And the Trailblazers win the championship as the one seed. The Knicks made it all the way as a three seed. Um, but Bradley Beal wins finals MVP. With him, Chris Middleton, OG Ananobi, Kendrick Nunn, Steven Adams. Good team. Good roster there. All right. Here it is. Here it is. All right. We got at least one more season than us. And if y'all really do show the love, um, if y'all really do show the love, we'll watch his free agency and the rest of his career in a future video. I just wanted to make sure everything was on auto. So if they wanted to make trades, sign free agents, this or that, they can do anything they want this offseason. I don't have anything to say about it. Um, I'm just curious what type of roster they would be able to bring back considering all the money they got tied into certain players. So it's pretty much the same team. They they had a draft pick, the 17th overall pick, a uh, Derrick Lowry. He's a power forward. He's only 6'8". Imagine your power forward being 6'8". Tyreek Evans is on the team now. We have both of the Diallos. I just realized that even though they were playing for us last season. The Nassis and then Jesse Peters. Who the heck are you? Undrafted player. Okay, I mean, the team is still bad. They got players on the trading block, so who knows what's going to happen. Oh, they don't have players on the trading block this season. All right, no big deal. No big deal. First game of the year, new Rufus. This guy, what? Come on, bro. One thing that is interesting is that his overall has jumped and his badges have progressed a little bit. I should have went to player progression. Um, what badges changed? Did he? So, okay, they gave him contact finisher, deep hooks, fast break finisher. On the shooting, did they add anything in the shooting? Oh, a lot of these badges are just Hall of Fame now. I think he only had two Hall of Fame badges going into it. They also gave him Deep Fades, Pick and Popper, and Pump Fake Maestro. Uh, Dream Shake is a badge. They just gave him two. Um, defensively, he's got Rebound Chaser now. And Brick Wall. But still no, like, defensive badges. I should have put him to Defensive Camp too. But you know what? We're kicking back. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not my call. And the team starts off 2-2. Two and two. Two and three, two and four, two and five. Tough scene, bro. Tough scene. Well, look at this stat line, though. He almost had that Russell Westbrook 2020 20 game. He was one, one assist away. And then the season stats. Oh, I mean, sure, you're getting more rebounds. You're getting more assists, but that's, that's terrible. That's terrible. All right, trade that line. Here we come. These guys suck. Oh my God, 20 and 30, y'all. 20 and 30 is their... Okay, they traded for Gallinari and Jeff Teague. Oh, this rookie's actually not looking bad for a rookie. 77 overall already. Um, Austin Rivers, so they made some trades, but overall, this team is, is cheeks. They're bad. They made two trades. Josh Jackson, Trevor Reese for Gallinari. That's a W trade. It's a W trade. And then Tyree Gavins for Austin Rivers. That's also a W of a trade. But overall, Rufus can be in MVP conversations if his team is 20 and 30. Not if your team is 20 and 30, dog. You don't deserve you don't deserve that type of love. And they suck. Oh my god. I mean, all-star again. His numbers are actually better this year now. I mean, but still, he ain't the elite, elite type player that we were hoping to get. I mean, yes, he is. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, bro. Bro, he's a free agent this season. They're not making the playoffs. They would have to go on a legendary run on the second half of the season. Because at this moment, they are... Are they only three games back? The target list is bring back Rufus, though. That's interesting. Um, but they're only three games back. And, you know, I guess anything... There's a couple wins. Anything happen, But then they have two losses, two wins. They might be able to sneak in here. Second half of the season is where they hit their glow, man. It's where they hit their glow. They're still not over 500 just yet. But they're close, and they're the seventh seed. They're the seventh seed right now, with two two and a half weeks to go of the season. They're gonna they're gonna make it. They're gonna clinch a playoff spot. Oh my god! There you go. I was talking trash. A, a legendary second half of the season. Legendary second half of the season. Um, all NBA first team for our boy Rufus, which is a W. But that's gonna be pretty much it. Did our rookie make a rookie team? Cause he was out there balling too. Okay, see, he didn't. Oh, that's disrespectful. I forgot what the heck his name was, but that's disrespectful to the homie. <laughs> um, I mean, they end up being a 7 seed, and now I know I'm totally in the way, so let me switch that. The Warriors have Luka. All right. Luka versus Rufus, round one. Game one, I'm guessing Luka did his thing. All right, yeah, we're not getting out of this first round, dog. Not with Luka doing stuff like, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, we're not getting out of this first round. Oh my god, Rufus. Come on, don't get swept, Rufus. This last year y'all took a oh they got swept. That's tragic. The eight seed beat the one seed out east, and they're in the conference finals, so that's the story. They were one game away, and they took to two points. Oh my god, to two points, bro. That's tragic. And Heat versus and it ended up being Luca and them. So we end up losing to the team that eventually won a championship. Okay, before we end the video, I got to watch free agency. I just want to watch free agency. Then after that, we'll end up and we'll talk about his career sim later. All right, let's go to league meetings first just to make sure. Cool. So, yeah, we're going to go to f a couple days after free agency. That's what we're going to do. A couple days after free agency and see what's up. Simulate the first three or four days that he resigned. Rufus is gone. I don't blame you. Your team was a 30-year-old John Wall, a 32-year-old Gallinari, and a 32-year-old Blake Griffin, all on the, the back ends in their prime. If anything, RJ's gone too. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, now let's really see what's going on. Um, Okay, we got big names in this free agency. But, I mean... He went to the Nets. Now we're in a fictional world. It was only a one-year deal, too. It was only a one-year deal. He's about to start hopping and whopping and going different places. He plays for the Nets now. Who's on this Nets roster? Who plays for the Nets and who's going to be teaming up with him? Ben Simmons, Sabonis, Seth Curry, Maxi Kleba. Him and Ben Simmons. 7-3 small forward with a 6'10 point guard. Uh-oh. The league might be in trouble because these were the numbers Ben Simmons was just putting up before he added Rufus Bishop. Okay, I'm going to the end of the season, and I, I just want to see. I mean, free agency's not over. Maybe they add different names. And if they add even more pieces, it's cheesy's in the chat. But Sabonis had just got an extension. Ben Simmons' extension started to kick in. So I doubt they would have had the money to make any more significant moves. OG Ananobi, Matisse Thybul. The team is good. That team is young and good. So let's take a look. 25 Ben Simmons, 24-year-old Matisse Thybul, 21-year-old Rufus Bishop, 25-year-old Sabonis, and then De Ooh, Dwayne Dedman at center is kind of a, that's an L. But the rest of the team is not looking bad. I mean, you can end up running a rotation where this dude is 7'3". Put him at power four. Put some bonus at center. Let OG Ananobi run small four. Come on, bro. There are so many ways you can work around having Dwayne Detman start. Or just start. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, as always, be said to leave it a like. Our boy Rufus Bishop is potentially in playoff contention, championship contention now. The world will find out in a future video. Thank you all so much. Peace.